The next thing we need to do after we've created our layouts is start designing our site. For that we can go into the design editor. And one thing I want to let you know is that whenever you move between layouts, or move between modes rather, uh, it's going to go to each individual page or whatever page you were working on previously. So in this case we were working on our page layout so it goes to our page layout over here. In this case I just want to edit the blog index first so I'm going to switch over to the blog index. I'm going to hide my layout selector and bring up the panel. The first thing I want to do is I want to set some defaults so it gives us just an idea of what we're working with here. Uh, so for paragraph text, I like a size 14 font, and I like a times, uh, we'll, we'll use uh, Georgia, I like Georgia a lot. All right, and then we're going to go to hyperlink, and I don't need to change anything with the hyperlink. Uh, headings, headings I like to use, um, I like to use Helvetica, so we'll, we'll change that to Helvetica, and since this is an H1 tag, I want to give this like a 26 size font. Alright, um, so I'm going to save that, so that saves my settings, Now I'm going to go to the editor part and actually change uh, some some bigger settings. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to change the body background. I don't like this uh, gray color. It's like D, 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 D that we picked, um, or that headway picks by default. So I want to do like a light blue. So here you can see it changing. And then I want to do like a kind of a skyish blue. There you go. Alright, so I like that blue. Uh, that looks pretty good. Okay. And... Um, let me see, what options do we have for the wrapper? Uh, so one thing uh, that I don't want to do in this is... Uh, I don't want to um, do a box shadow. So I'm going to actually get rid of that. You can see it was like over here. Uh, so we've gotten rid of that. And the other way would just to be to go in here and um, get rid of uh, the settings. So we change it back to customize. But what I want to do is I want to customize them to be rounded corners instead. So I'm going to customize them all to five. Uh, so it's just a very subtle, subtle change. And uh, next we'll go into blocks. And uh, let's go to header. And I'm going to leave this all white because I'm trying to go for some sort of a, a very minimal uh, look and feel and just change some subtle changes. Uh, but the big thing I want to change is I don't like the, the Palatino font. I want the Georgia font up here. So there's Georgia. Um, and this is set to 34. Um, but one thing that I like to do um, that's probably a little different than other people is I don't want my, my site title is not very descriptive. Um, usually it's like AJ Morris or Headway Hub or different things like that. So what I want to be the focus is the tagline and the tagline really should be bigger because that's like um, uh, you know instead of saying just another WordPress site it could say um, your one-stop shop for all your headway videos or, or something like that um, and so I really want that to be bigger to draw uh, attention um, in, in my readers eyes to that first instead of the title so the first thing I want to do is change the font size down to like a 14. Um, actually, let's turn it to 16. Uh, so it's so it's somewhat big. 
Um, we're not going to add any borders, um, and I think the font color could be a little lighter um, to, to also keep attention off of that and, and be able to put attention on the tagline. Um, you know, if you want to do, you know, if you want to add bold or something, you could do that. Um, we're just going to get rid of that, though. Um, so you could also do text align. So if you wanted it to go on the right, you could do that. I like I like the left because the left, uh, at least in English speaking, or or a lot of places, um, you start left, you read left to right. So that makes more sense to throw that over here. Uh, so I don't need to do anything with alignment. So we'll just get rid of that. Um, I'm not worried about capitalization or letter spacing, but I do want to make sure underline is no underlined. I don't want to worry about that. Um, and I do want to add some text shadow because text shadows are cool. Uh, so I'm going to kind of get rid of those a second so we can do this. So I'm going to say a horizontal offset of 1, vertical of 3, a blur of 8, I think. And we'll try a color of, we'll try to do a, a blue. There we go. All right, so you can see it up there now. Um, but the blur is probably too much, so let's do like a three. Or a two, and maybe the vertical offset. There you go. All right, so we've got that going on. Um, and I'm... I'm going to tell you that the site look will probably look like crap, um, or somewhat crappy. I just wanted to show you how to use text shadow. Um, so the next thing is tagline, and I want to change it to Georgia. Georgia is my favorite, um, uh, my favorite serif font out of the ones that, that most people have. Um, now the font size I want is I want that at like 36, and I apologize, that's off the screen. All right, so there you go. Um, it's at 36, and I want it to be a different color. So we're going to make this like a darker blue color. Um, and I don't like that color blue, so let's kind of go to a lighter blue, but keep it dark. All right, so something like that looks pretty good. All right, so we've got that set to blue. We've got our line height. We've got... We've got font styling selected to italics. Uh, we could just go to normal, though. I think I like normal better. So if we just inherit, then that's cool, too. Um, alignment, I'm okay with. Capitalization, letter spacing, underline, all that stuff I'm good with. I don't need to worry about putting a border um, around it. Um, so I think we're good there. So let's just save it really quick. And so here's what it looked like before. I'm just going to go home. Boom, here you go. So here's my site uh, starting to, to take shape. You can see the background. You can see the rounded corners. You can see that I uh, made our, our uh, tagline bigger here. I've got our um, site title uh, a little bit smaller. It's got that, that uh, text shadow on it, um, and we're starting to go uh, working, uh, at least working to a point that there's, there's stuff here. So um, I'm going to continue doing this really quick, um, but I want to show you that if we go to post image, you can see that I've made changes so that it's all site-wide. So really, uh, you know, I wanted to go to the home, kind of the home page to do this, uh, but it doesn't matter what page you're on. Um, and the reason being is, is because over here, when you're editing, uh, it says customize for current layout. And if I click this, then it's going to customize everything I'm doing uh, as far as tagline goes is only going to be for the, the, the layout that I'm on. And you can always see the layout that you're on by coming up here to where it says currently editing blog index. So, uh, you know, you can go keep going through. So if we wanted to just do navigation really quick, and maybe we wanted to add uh, like a blue background, like a light blue background to the navigation, something subtle.
something like that maybe. And then we can go to our navigation items. Let's change that to Georgia. And then let's change the font to like a dark blue. Something, some kind of subtle like that. You can also do um, these borders are for the menu item, but if we just go back up here to navigation and you just click on it, and you'll see it says what it's editing here. So if you just go back to navigation, you can actually change this border color to like a, you know, if you wanted a real dark color, you could do that. So let's just save that. Now if we refresh outside of it, boom, there you go. So you can see, you can see that everything makes changes uh, site-wide unless you um, click this current layout. So uh, let's show you that current layout, I guess. And let's do, let's just do something simple. Let's do body. So for the body um, on this current layout, so I'm on the blog index. I want to change the background color from this, like, this blue to, like, this blue right something very noticeable so we'll save that now you remember I'm on a post right so if I refresh this it's got that light color but if we go home it's got that dark color if I go to a page it's got the light color if I go home it's got that dark color so it's pretty cool how you can inherit um, or set uh, different settings in the visual editor here to only affect certain pages. Now if we wanted to say make all of our pages, so let's edit this, and we want to edit the body of this page. Uh, we click custom. So you can see here where it says edit, it says body on page layout. So if we change the background color and this time we're going to do like a higher, like a brighter blue. We'll save that. So here is our home page. Here's our post pages, which has got that light color. And if we click on header page, it's got that different one. And we can see it's different because this is a little darker and this is lighter. So um, hopefully that gives you an idea of, of how you can... Uh, you know, click the button over here to uh, inherit things or change just particular items on a page. Um, and that works with, you know, with blocks. If you wanted to change, um, you know, the block, uh, the header block on certain pages, but not other pages, you could do that as well.